Hey, it's Saturday. Excuse me, Saturday. December 4th. I'd like to read from Isaiah. Somewhere in chapter 30. No longer will your teacher hide himself, but with your own eyes you shall see your teacher. But from behind a voice shall sound in your ears. This is the way, walk in it. And when you turn to the right or to the left, that little voice, hmm? that sound in your ears, this is the way, walk in it. When you go and where you should walk and how you go. So does God speak to us? I think he does. I think we hear God's whisper, but we can drown it out. Hmm? Don't have to pay attention to it. But then God gives those nudges. We hear those little voices. How often you be in church maybe and maybe asking something or volunteer for something or give something, and you hear that little voice say, yeah. But automatically you kind of say, well, well, the reasons why I can't do it. We push it aside. We hear that voice. You got to respond to it. Hmm? Say yes, don't be afraid. Because the God's voice, once you say yes, he will let you know, he will lead, and he will guide you. In fact, that's how Mother Teresa changed her whole life, right? She was a principal at an all-girls school, usually for wealthy girls, and she was out, I think, on a fundraising tour and on the train. All of a sudden, she heard this voice inviting her to work with the poor. It was, so, was un unmistakable. She called that the call within the call, and she said yes. She followed the voice. So what, God's, what is God saying to you? You want to hear it? You've got to be quiet. You've got to be still. Lord, speak, Lord, that I may hear your voice. Not only hear it, but I may obey it. God bless you.